I want to hear about this. I'm fascinated by this kind of stuff. Um, Hmm. Like two things, two reasons, um, not to cut you off, but I want to hear all about this. One is because as we get older, like, you know, and I know that music kills our friends and uh, like the people I know that are doing well are making, they take active, like active measures daily to stay healthy um because music music's not a good it's not a good lifestyle um or it on the it the default state of a music lifestyle is not a very good one and it, it brings in bad stuff so as you get older you really have to like decide that you're going to um stay healthy and just keep making those choices every single day and then also i'm always very fascinated by super routine um approaches to music because i think that even though it's art it's also like a sport like there's a very physical aspect absolutely to it. discipline discipline uh like enables creativity and enables greatness so i'm very curious with that said i, I want to hear all about your system well you know it's man i the stretching i think it was and we're going back like 20 plus years ago I remember during my time in Morbid Angel and um, we were about to go on tour with Pantera. Um, I, I, we toured with Pantera twice, lucky me. Um, but, you know, the first tour, that which is was really 10 cool. week, Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Um, but the first tour was like 10 weeks that we were about to do. And I was suffering my hands. I was in my wrists. I was having a lot of pain. And part of it, I was, I was, I was touring with Morbid Angel. I was touring with Hate Eternal. I, I did my Alas project. I mean, I did like four of my own albums in like a three-year period between Alas, Morbid Angel, and two Hate Eternal records. And I was touring and producing, and I was playing guitar like constantly. Um, and I was having significant pain, and I for a long time I thought, oh my, you know, I had to go to the doctor, specialist, and you know, I was worried that I had a carpal tunnel or something like that. Um, and they just said I was over using my, you know, I was literally Mm -hmm. just, I don't, there's nothing about what I do that's like, quote unquote, proper, you know, I play really aggressively hard and, you know, um, dude, metal's bad for you. Metal's bad for you. I mean, there's, there's no economy picking in my style. So I was just, you know, I was taking a beating. I had to stop playing for about a month. He said, listen, you need to rest. And then you need to start a stretching routine. And do you stretch? And I was like, no, nah, I don't stretch. You know, I was like 28 or 29. You know, what the hell? I don't do any of that crap. Um, but I had to take a month off. And I had a couple months, luckily, of downtime. And when I came back, I learned stretches. It started with my hands and wrists and my arms. Um, and then, knock on wood, I didn't have those problems since. I got in the van accident in 2003 with Haiti Eternal, um, chipped my six vertebrae in my neck, uh, had whiplash. I couldn't even feel my hands or my arms for a couple months. And, and so, um, well, from that, I had to learn, start learning, you know, neck stretches and other things. And, and then it, from my head, all of a sudden it went, you know, I started stretching my back and stretching my legs and, and doing all this stuff to the point where now it's just constantly like I, before I came to the studio today, I did a whole hour of stretching at home. It's just like, it's, it's kind of become a ritual for me. And not only physically does it help me, but like mentally it's funny, you know, like the other day, um, you know, we're getting ready to go on tour next month and we're adding in a bunch of new songs and a bunch of old songs that I needed to we're, learn. We're recording this like, in August, 2023 for those of you in the future. Oh yes. Future people listening yes. or watching. And we're going on tour in a month. And so I'm working on new songs and learning songs. And, um, the other day I learned a song. I was, you know, I was able to learn it and track it to a click, you know, so Paul could practice to a little bit. And, and then, um, basically I was like telling my wife, I was like, wow, you know, it's, it's amazing when I, when I do my stretching routine and a lot of that is just breathing and and meditating while I'm doing it. My mindset is so like calm because I'm, I'm that guy that like, 
if people ask, what do you think about on stage? It's usually like, I don't think about anything really, except for breathe and relax because I'm such an intense dude. I'm always like, I have to relax. And by doing the stretching routine, I learned this song, I was playing it and I was like, wow, you know, like it, it, it really helps my, my mindset. Um, and it's gotten more and more in, intense, my stretching routine as I've been doing it um, to the point where now, like uh, a lot of times when we're on tour, I'm backstage and, and I usually go in there, nobody's back there, but you know, bands playing, maybe the room's like a 10 by 10 and I'm in the middle of the floor with a yoga mat stretching and people are walking over me and I got my earbuds in and I'm listening to like, you know, choir music or some kind of, you know, uh, classical music or something to the point where I'm not even, I'm not even hearing it. Like I'm, I'm shutting out everything. People are talking and shooting the shit and w- literally walking over me. Cause I'm, I'm sorry to say I'm, I'm taking up the whole damn room. Uh, but everybody, you know, it's like, I've, I've, I'm getting better at um, shutting out the noise. And and that really helps in so many facets of my life, right? You know, to be able to shut out the noise. You shut out your own noise too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like intrusive thoughts. Okay, so that's, that's the thing that I'm still working on is like being able to shut out my thoughts. Because like I said, it's like when I wake up, I'm, I'm overthinking. I'm an, uh, when I go to, before I go to bed, I'm overthinker. That's why I never go to bed until I'm like almost falling asleep in the chair or something, because I'm such an, <laughs> I just constantly yeah. think, you know what I mean? Like I'll be sitting on my chair watching TV and if I'm dozing out, that's when I know, okay, go to bed, dude. You know, because otherwise I'll just lay in bed. If, somebody you, asks if, me, you, don't, if you don't do that, do you wake back up because your brain, like if you don't take advantage of that moment when you're zoning out, like, have you noticed that at least this will happen to me? If I don't like capitalize and go to bed right then and there, like I know that 20 minutes from now, my brain will come back on and then it's oh, going to be like three wait. hours. Yeah. Let's work on a song. Let's fucking yeah. take a bike ride. It's two 30 in the morning. You know, like that's, that's kind of my DNA too. So I, I've, I've, that's the one thing I've been really working on is trying to shut out my own thoughts. And so that's the hardest part that I still struggle with. Um, but you know, everything's people, if somebody, and I say this all the time, it's like, people say, man, you did a great job on this. I say, man, it's a work in progress. You know, like I'm a work in progress. I, I know I can be better at everything I do and every bit of who I am as a person. Um, there's so much more room for growth. There always is. The minute that you sit there and you're like, man, you know, I got it all made. It's, 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 it's a, that's boring, a bad minute. So, so that's back to the routine. Minute. Um, yeah. so you have like, so it grew from just hands to now like yep. full body yoga. You full do body, like yes. an hour of it, like almost, mm-hmm. almost every single day, but definitely every day on tour, regardless. Every day on tour. Yeah. Absolutely. Regardless of who's around you and what's around you, like you are doing your fucking yoga, which is I do. awesome. And then, so you're saying that leads into two hours of guitar warm up. What's can, yep. let's talk about that. Perfect segue into well, guitar. You know, sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's less, you know, sometimes you don't have the perfect backstage. Um, sometimes I have to ask, you know, Johnny or tour manager, Hey man, can I squeeze in the production office because there's no room to stretch? You know, it's so important. Um, adapting that to my home life I've, I've found is important too. It's like, sometimes I'll get home and I'm just, you know, from tour and like, oh, I just got home from Europe after 10 weeks, I'm tired. And I'll let that fall by the wayside, but I definitely notice that um, physically, mentally, whatever I, I, you know, I'm not in the same place, so I have to keep on it. It's like something that's just so important now to my to my lifestyle is is doing this. Sometimes it's forty minutes to, to stretch. Sometimes it's an hour. Um, practicing and warming up. Well, first of all, I just love playing guitar, you know, like I, it's, uh, I mean, I want to play that guitar. Helps. I just <laughs> certainly, yeah, I mean, I love, I, mean, I love playing guitar. I just want to play guitar. I want to write songs and write riffs. And I mean, I just love doing it. I mean, I've been doing this for so long, but 
my passion for writing music. I mean, I love, I don't know if there's, if somebody says, what's your favorite thing to do in your career? It's like, man, writing riffs and, and, you know, and then practicing the riffs and building a song and then showing everybody else and working on it as a band and tracking the record. That whole process is it's the best just part. Incredible. For sure. It never gets old ever. You know, like, I don't think I always say this too. It's like, I'll probably record music for the rest of my life until I just can't, you know, whether it's I'm deaf or my body falls apart or, man, you um, know, I, 